this guy for sticking around. Well, some of you are loyal to your friends. That's right, that's right. So just for sticking around, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I turned 26 about three Aprils ago. I was in the army. I was in the fucking army. And I am also a huge adrenaline junkie. I, I absolutely love extreme sports. So I started dating a black woman. Well, um, she was actually mixed. I couldn't quite commit to full black. So I figured I'd start with half and maybe work my way up if I survive. I, uh, I also just got a new laptop. So needless to say, I'm always on the internet. Mostly with the uh, Twitter, eHarmony, and Pornhub. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say that I spend most of my day tweeting, meeting, and beating. Okay? <laughs> Someone's got to do it, might as well beat this guy, right? Right? No, I'm lying. I don't have a Twitter account. Because my mother taught me to be a leader, not a follower. But you, sir, you can poke me on Facebook anytime. And the great thing about the internet is that you can find anything. I happened to stumble upon some photos of Osama bin Laden and his compound in Abbottabad. They were disgusting. He had over 20 wives, and not one of them bitches did any clean. Talk about being useless. Women, you can't live with them, you can't have a lifetime channel without them. Wouldn't it be great if we came to find out that his wives were the ones who set him up, like they called the U.S. and informed them of their exact location? White House. Hello? Mr. Obama? It's Mrs. Osama. Just do want my husband? You didn't know he had a Mexican wife, did you? <laughs> Why, um, yes, actually, uh, where are you located? Okay, we'll see you in about a year. Great, thank you. <laughs> so in the meantime, you know, they start standing up for themselves, took their burkas off, and went shopping. Like they had become the real housewives of Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> I need to do clean windows today. First off, boo, my name is Nene. Okay, don't get it twisted. Okay, and secondly, I ain't clean no more fucking windows, Bin Laden. Why don't you clean your motherfucking windows? Shit. Oh, it's okay for you to blow shit up? Cause you sure as hell ain't cleaning shit up. Ain't that right, Kim? Ain't that right, boo? That's right. <laughs> so like they hear the SEAL team come in, you know, and they meet him at the front, front door like, oh, look who decided to show up finally. I was about to have to do this myself. Yes, he's upstairs on the third floor, second door on the right. Give him a double tap for me. Uh. <laughs> I love LA traffic, I really do. There's just something so soothing about the sound of people horn fucking the shit out of each other. When I'm in traffic, I like to pretend that I'm at the symphony, like you have a whole horn section from the LA Ford Harmonic right beside you. One day sitting in traffic, like my GPS got so bored with me, she just started fucking with me. She's like, turn left in 1.2 miles on Ventura. But you can't, because you're not going anywhere. <laughs> like, fuck you, Garmin. Why can't you come up with some celebrity voices like uh, Ben Affleck from the town? Yeah, yeah, take a fucking right right here. Okay, you're wicked close. Go by the bar. Go by the bar. Wait, wait, wait. Look, kid, you got the whole 405 in your fucking rear view. <laughs> but, like, ultimately, my dream celebrity voice would be Puff Den. Uh huh, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, take that, take that left, take that left, uh huh, bad boy. You guys have been great, that's all I got for you tonight.